absolute privilege it is to welcome to Into the Fire, the young WA gun, the leading backman in this year's draft from East Perth, Jed Busslinger. Nice to meet you, Jed. Thanks for having me, LJ. Awesome to have you on, buddy. Well, Jed, I saw a video of you when you were a youngster. You were a tall, rangy and skinny kid, weren't you? Bit like me. Yeah, very tall. But rangy bit. Yeah. <laughs> Did you always play footy or were there other sports involved? Uh, sort of footy's always been the main sport, but um, sort of played a little bit of cricket just, just for fun. Um, yeah, not, not too high level stuff, but yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Now we must bring it up. You won Oz Kicker of the Year and Selwood came and did a clinic for your footy club. Excitable lad, weren't you? And I see from your commercial that you've really improved that kicking action. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty pretty cool to win Oz Kicker of the Year back in 2012. Um, meeting Joel and, and Scott Selwood and doing a clinic with all my mates was pretty cool. And yeah, had to fix up the kicking action a fair bit. Uh, wasn't too good back then. Yeah, it's quite a while ago now, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. You're a Geelong supporter and love Joel Selwood. Were you a Geelong su supporter before the Auskip? No, I wasn't. I was, I was an Eagles man um, growing up. And then, yeah, as soon as I won that, it was uh, pretty hard to stay on the Eagles. Um, Joel, Joel convinced me pretty easily to join over to Geelong and they were doing pretty well at the time. So, yeah, easy, cha easy changeover. Yeah. You were also the captain of your junior team in 2018 and 2019. Add leadership to your impressive CV. Have you always been a leader? Um, I don't know if I've always been a leader, but it's something that I've aspired to be um, and continue to do. So, yeah, I'm just continuously working on that. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty big thing, pretty cool thing as well. Yeah, it's definitely a good attribute. Yeah. Now, just before we get to your footy talents, I also noticed you played district cricket. The future of Aussie cricket is worse off now that you've chosen footy, isn't it? Oh, I don't know about that. It wasn't too good. I was sort of just in the team and, and just did it for a bit of a laugh. It wasn't wasn't a key part of the key part of the team. Yeah, cricket's pretty fun though. Would have had a good time. Yeah, it is good banter. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about your abilities, buddy. For those that don't know you. You're a key defender with an elite intercept mark. You read the ball in flat to perfection. You're also super composed with the ball and could bring calm to the battlefield. Your competitive edge makes you amazing in one-on-one -on -one, and you're like a glove on opponents when you need to be. Have I left anything out, mate? Well, I think, I think you've talked me up a little bit there. I think, I think that's all that, yeah, that's all that I try and focus on. Yeah. Now, as a backman, have you tried your hand up forward or is it I'm a backman and I'm bloody good at it? Because I read you saw yourself as a centre-half forward in under 15. Yeah, I was um, I was a forward up until, I think, the, the start of last year in the pre-season. I got chucked into defence and, and loved it uh, loved it as soon as I started. But, yeah, ever since before last year, I've, I've always sort of been a forward. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you're awesome in a lot of areas. What parts of your, of your game are you trying to improve? Yeah, probably just um, I'm still quite a tall, skinny kid. So probably just uh, focusing on my strength work and power work and, and trying to get uh, my sprint work up by getting a sprint coach. And um, yeah, just being in the gym a fair bit, just trying to yeah get, get a bit stronger and get a bit faster. And hopefully that'll help in my um, being able to defend a forward, just defending their leads. Yeah, don't worry, there's always something to improve on. <laughs> now, talking about improvements, I watched your effort in the pig game with my mate Hayden. Is it true that you've been going around WA in a disguise after your pig lost to him? I didn't even think yeah. he I didn't think he'd win over anyone. Yeah, I haven't I haven't been out much since then, just trying to hide myself for a little <laughs> bit longer until it all settles down. Yeah, it would be pretty sad. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Congrats on your inclusion in the National Academy. You must be looking forward to that, getting to spend time with Australia's best players and some great coaching. What sorts of things will you get to do with that program? Yeah, it is pretty exciting just to learn off um, all the other players and, and coaches who are obviously very talented. But um, yeah, so we get to go over to Melbourne pretty soon. I think this time next month, we get to go over to Melbourne and, and do a training camp and meet all the players and then, 
um, come back to Perth for a couple of weeks and then go back over and, and have a game against the Collingwood VFL, which is super exciting. And then um, towards the end of the year, I think we have a game just before the grand final um, and, and get to play on the MCG, which is super cool. And then throughout the year, we'll just do a couple of meetings, a couple of Zoom calls um, and just touch base with everybody and, and hopefully learn a few things along the way. Yeah, gee, it sounds like you're going to be busy. Yeah, it is pretty full on, but yeah, super exciting. Yeah, definitely. You got to train with the West Coast Eagles, and I think you still have one more training, if I'm right. How has that been? I bet you've taken a lot out of that experience. Any Anyone take you under their wing? Yeah, it's, it's been super cool just being able to train with the Eagles, sort of unreal to be speaking to AFL players um, that you've, you've sort of looked up to all your life. And um, yeah, the facilities there are pretty insane, so... It's good to be there. Um, players, probably like um, Tom Brass has been pretty good uh, talking to him. Um, and then probably someone like um, Shannon Hearn has been really good just speaking to him. He's he's pretty open person. And if you've got questions, um, he's not he's not going to run away from them. He, he answers them all. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you're going to change your team to the Eagles again? No, nah, I don't think I will. But yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. In 2019, you played for WA in under-15s and then another chance in under-17s, where you start against my SA boys. Now, on to the chance again this year. What is it like to pull on the WA Guernsey and how do you reckon you guys will go this year? Yeah, it's obviously a really big privilege um, to, to be able to play for WA, play for your state and play with lots of your close mates that you form relationships um, with playing for and against with them. Um, so that's, that's really cool. And I think this year we should go all right. We have a super talented group and, and super driven group. So yeah, hopefully we go all right. Um, certainly I think the aim will be to win the, win the championships, but yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty exciting WA team, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah it is. Yeah. Some simple footy questions. You're 45 metres out straight in front. Do you handle off, look for a short pass or bomb that sucker and hope it goes through? Ah, good question. Um, <laughs> oh, 45 out. Oh, I think I might I might go for it from there. Really? Big torpy? Yeah, yeah. Might have to bring out the torpy from there. Yeah, maybe. Which players were you most impressed by at the Australian Chance last year? Um, probably our midfield group was really good. So the likes of um, Elijah Hewitt and Kane Bevan were, were really good. And then um, in the back line, we sort of, we had an extremely uh, tight group, of, a pretty good bond back there in the back six. So yeah, I probably can't uh, point out a single back when I think all of us did it, it did our role and, and had a good time doing it. So yeah, I think the back six and a couple of mids were, were really impressive. Yeah, I'll be keeping my eye on those boys. <laughs> Who are your WA best buddies? Um, oh, as I said, I think I think the back line, we're all good pretty mates down there. It's pretty, it's pretty special to be good mates with all the backs. Um, so it's a good relationship. And then um, like Josh Draper went to school with him. And, and I, yeah, it's pretty hard to single out a, a single players. I think everyone's pretty good mates. Yeah. If you had to say what AFL player you play like, who would it be? Um, I sort of follow the likes of Darcy Moore a fair bit just because he can play back and forward and he's an interceptor. And then um, probably someone like Tom Brass as well, who's pretty dominant in the air at the moment. So, yeah, probably um, probably those two. Yeah, two pretty dominant players, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Okay, let's ask some non-footy questions, mate. What do you like to do in your spare time? I uh, probably just like to hang out with my mates, probably – a usual answer, but yeah, it's good to take my mind off footy, um, go to the beach, play or just yeah, anything really. Yeah. If you had to cook a meal, what would you impress someone with? Um, well, I'm, I'm not the greatest cook. Um, I can't cook too much, but um, maybe like a carbonara is, is pretty good. Oh, if yeah. I get to do that with, make that with mum, that's that's always a good, a yeah, good meal. Definitely. Yeah, it is. What is your go-to video game? Um, ooh, probably probably Fortnite's probably um, yeah. the biggest one. Yeah, I like that. Sort of 
was on it for a while and then and sort of died off and didn't play for a while play for it um for yeah. a while but as soon as school finished I think got back on a little bit more yeah get a few wins every now and then yeah a couple solo wins a couple squad wins yeah yeah nice nice well Jed I think I have the reason why you struggled in pigs so much it's called lack of motivation the only thing that can help this is having a celebration not just any celebration, but one you're excited about using. Well, my friend, I have the answer. The best celebration in the business. Challenge Hayden again, mate, with this in your back pocket, the end of the fire. I'll certainly whip that one out in, in my next pig game. And hopefully uh, if I drift forward this year, I'll use that one as well. Awesome, I reckon you will. Well, it's been, a, it's been awesome getting to know you better, Jed. You're an elite talent, and I can't wait to watch you kill it this year leading into the draft. Thanks so much, mate. Thanks. Awesome to have you on, buddy.